I broke it. Oh my, I'm over it. The greatest fidget toy I have ever seen. Bree here, and fidget toys are huge right now. And as someone with anxiety who constantly needs to be doing something with my hands, I'm loving it. I already had a few fidget toys myself, but for this video I bought a bunch more that I want to try, so today I'm going to try them all and I'm going to rank them for you, so you know which fidget toys are the best. So first off, we're going back to the first like fidget toy I remember becoming a big fad, and that of course is the fidget spinner. I remember when these were like really huge and a friend of mine got one and I'd heard that they were like really good for like helping with anxiety and stuff. So I'm like, ooh, I wanna try, maybe this will be good for me. It is not good for me. I am slightly OCD, not enough that it like has a huge effect over my life, but enough that little things will um, get to me in a really weird way. I have to hit it perfectly. And if I don't, then um, like if I hit a point that I feel like is the wrong point of my finger, I... <sighs> Mm -hmm. uh, if I feel like I hit it at the wrong point of my finger, then I need to do it. That was not right. I need to do it exactly the same way again to convince my body that it is correct. Otherwise, I will continue to feel it there. And it is really annoying, really irritating, and it gives me more anxiety. Oh, that was a good one. See, it does feel really good once I get it spinning, though. Like, this one has a really good weight to it. It feels nice. I do like the like feeling the vibrations through my hands as it's spinning. That's nice. It just, I cannot find um, any kind of relaxation in them. That being said, I do also have this little like two-sided one um, that is also a bottle opener. So I'm gonna see if this one's any better. This one's not as heavy, so it's not as satisfying of a weight, but it spins a lot easier, I feel like. Oh. Mm, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Ooh, my finger feels off. Hang on. I need to hit it again to hit it right. Okay, I evened it out. So we're good. When fidget spinners were really big, I was seeing everyone with their fidget spinners. I'm like, that doesn't help for me. So I started looking for a fidget thingy that would help me. And what I found was the fidget cube. This is going to be really hard to beat for me. It is so amazing. I love it. So we have this side, which is like a joystick, one of my favorites. I, this side, I can just press buttons. Um, this side, I can flip a switch back and forth. I have options with this, which is so nice. And then this one, I can just like go around. This side is just a perfect, oh, it's so smooth. It feels so good. It's such a good texture thing for me. Um, this side has these things that I honestly don't do a whole lot, but my favorite feature of it is this ball. It glides so smoothly, it feels so great, and I can like, I will be playing with this as I'm like flipping the switch back and forth, or have my thumb here while I spin the joystick. Ugh. There are options with this, and I love it. Yeah, I could just sit here and press the buttons over and over. Sith ran off with one of my fidget toys. Hang on. Moving on, it's gonna be really hard to beat the fidget cube for me. I love all the options I get with it. So this is another one that feels like more of a classic to me. Just this squishy cat. Just kind of the typical stress toy. You squeeze it. It's fun. I really... This one has like... It looks like flour or something inside. I, I am so curious by it. I really like it. It feels really nice. The only thing is it collects dust like nothing else. So that is the downside to it. So next up, I actually ordered these for my buying from Facebook ads video. They're called Specs. Um, and they're just these little magnetic balls. And you can like build stuff with them. What I like most about these is just how it feels when I have it in my hand and go like this. The texture feels really nice when using it like a stress ball. Sith is very curious. Okay, so next up, my husband got me these for Christmas. They were a stocking stuffer 
And they're really fun. They're called monkey noodles. And <laughs> they are Sith's favorite thing in the world. These are literally Sith's favorite thing in the world. He is obsessed with them. But yeah, these you can just kind of pull them, twist them, tie them in a knot. I have to keep them in a drawer though. Because Sith has started coming in, picking one up in his mouth, and running off with it. Why don't you do that? <laughs> okay, so now, of course, I have to bring up the fidget that is sweeping the internet. The poppets. I do love the poppets. Oh, so satisfying. I'd say the only downside to this is that it's bigger, so it's harder to carry um, around with you. Okay, so now let's get into the things I ordered specifically for this video. Okay, so I'm um, gonna start out with the basic ones. Um, cool Coil Spring was what this was called. It's obviously a slinky. This is more fun than I remember slinkies being. And then Wacky Tracks. Okay, so this is what they are, um, and you just, oh, ooh, you can like bend them anyway, oh, I broke it. It goes back together though, so that's good. Okay, so you can't literally bend it anyway, or you will break it. This is actually way more satisfying than I thought it would be. This one I thought looked like a more satisfying version of the Wacky Track, so now I'm really excited for it. The Infinity Cube. You can just, oh, oh. Oh, I did something wrong. I did something wrong. No, I can't do wrong things. So you can just like, boop, boop. And the idea is that you can just keep turning it for infinity. It's a little bit stressful because sometimes I'm like, oh, no, that's not the way it bends now. Like I, my fingers just start getting in this autopilot, but that's not the way it's supposed to bend. Okay, and I got a ton of these. I got two sets and both sets came with three of these marble and mesh things. So it's just mesh with the marble inside. Yeah. Ooh, this one's better because the mesh on this one's thinner. So um, you can feel the marble moving more. Okay, and this came with one of the kits I got. I really don't know why it's here, but um, it is a slingshot chicken. When I think of stress relieving fidget toys, I do not think of a slingshot chicken. Okay, and so now these next ones um, seem kind of similar to me to the monkey noodles, so I'm glad I got rid of Sith. Ooh, I like the texture of these. These are unicorn stretchy strings. Oh my, this came with so many. Oh my, picking them up all together. It, it's kind of tickly, so I kind of don't like it, but it's kind of cool, and I kind of do. I, do, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, and the other one that's very similar came from the other kid I got. Caterpillar stretchy strings. Oh my, I love these. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm trying to compare the feeling. The strings on the unicorns are longer, but then the caterpillar, I love it. It has a lot of different textures to it, which is nice. So next up we have a snapper. I think works kind of like a stress ball. You hold it and... Okay. I honestly, I... It's just there. So I have a couple of flippy chains and let's see how these work. How do these work? Whoa. I'm confused and I don't like it. So I guess you go like this and then you can just flip them back and forth. Maybe I'm thinking about it too hard. I mean, it is flipping in my hand, but it's like twisting around and when it twists around, I can't flip it. Actually very unsatisfying because it keeps twisting around and I keep being unable to bend it right and then it gets all tangled like this and I am not happy. Okay, so next up we have finger rings and you just put them on your finger and roll. Oh my, this is amazing. This is amazing. So yeah, you just like, that is like massaging my finger. That feels so good. I feel like this would help me a lot in, um, 
like, public situations where my anxiety is acting up because, like I said, I get really bad anxiety in crowds and I feel, like, overstimulated. So this, if I had this in my pocket, I could just slip it onto my finger. It's really subtle. Roll it back and forth and it would give me a sensation to focus on. This is the kind of thing I need. But sticking with the ring theme, we have these magnetic ring toys. So they all stick together and... What am I supposed to do? Okay, so it's like, okay, I kind of like that. To me, it gives you kind of the same sensation a fidget spinner does of feeling them rotating on your hand, but I'm not going to hit it wrong like a fidget spinner, so it's not super annoying. It requires just a little more concentration than I would like in a fidget toy. It's all right. Okay, so next is squeeze a bean. These are nice because they're like keychains and then, oh, so cute. You get a reward from it. Like you get to see the little pea poke his head out, which is nice. Okay, and this one I've heard really good things about, but I've never tried. Little mochis. I am so excited. They're all cat shaped. Oh, it's so soft. I feel like this is another thing that will pick up lint though. It has that um, texture to it. Look at them all. They're very soft. I do like them. And sticking on the squishy trend, I got this grape ball. It looks amazing. Oh! <gasps> This is the best stress ball ever. The little like Orbeez inside are like massaging my hand as I squish it, kind of like the um, little magnetic specs. I love this so much. Okay, and lastly, we have glow in the dark sticky balls, which I like that these all like stick together. When you squeeze it, it's kind of like the cat, except for without the like flower inside. And they're supposed to like stick to things as you Throw it. Do they stick on the ceiling? Oh my! Ta-da! So, um, I might have made a mistake because those are all directly above my head. So they're just gonna eventually fall on my head. Oh, they're staying for a while though. Those had a lot of stick to them. So, I mean, that's cool that I can throw them and they'll stick to the ceiling. But, um, look, now they aren't sticking to each other as well because they picked up lint from the ceiling. Can I even make them stick to the ceiling again? No, they're still sticking to the ceiling. And they don't feel as good to squeeze as like the other things I have. So it's kind of cool you can throw them and they'll stick to the ceiling, but I'm not sure when it will come down on its own. It's stressful having to get it off the ceiling. So it's kind of a, you throw it and then you're done. Definitely um, not so much a fidget toy. <laughs> okay, now I have to rank these. This is gonna be difficult. One hour later. Okay. I think I have my final ranking. It, it was tough. A lot of these are really close and I think some of my decisions will surprise you. So drum roll. Surprising no one coming in last place are the fidget spinners. I'm not even gonna spin them. I'm not doing that to myself again. And really close to the fidget spinner for the same reason is this flippy chain guy that really sucks. I just, I really don't like it. And then next up, for reasons of, is this even a fidget toy? Why is this here? Is our slingshot chicken guy. Wee! And in a almost similar state of uselessness, we have this guy. Why does he exist? Ooh, I made it suction. So cool, I'm over it. I can't really figure out how to use these. Am I using it right? I don't know. They're all right, but nothing special. And, Two of the three sticky balls, because the third is still on the ceiling, because once you throw it, you're kind of done. And now, getting into the things that I would actually enjoy playing with, we have the Slinky. Surprising me that it's actually so high up, but I'm actually kind of enjoying it. And the Specs, because it's just a satisfying feel to crunch them in your hand. But you can get a very similar feel and less risk of mess with these mesh marble things that are a lot easier to bring with you places. And so far back, only because um, it's not intuitive enough for me, is the Infinity Cube. And surprising me with how fun it is, we have these guys, Swacky Tracks, I think they were called. And then we have Sith's favorites, 
the monkey noodles. Kind of an arm workout here. They're very versatile. I do like them. And winning the award for the highest reward, we have the cute little squeeze peas. Cute face. And then we have our mochi. So cute. I'm definitely gonna keep one of these guys on my desk. It's just really nice. It seems even stickier than my other stress ball, so I think it's gonna pick up a lot of lint. Speaking of other stress ball, Still a solid. I do enjoy them. Got that nice squish. Gotta love it. And then we have our unicorns. They're nice. They're fun. I love them. Spot number five. We are in our top five now. So spot number five, we have the internet sensation, the poppets. It did make it into the top five. It's like bubble wrap, but you can pop it again and again. And then because the way these bend are just so fun and the variety of textures, I had to put these in number four position. I feel like um, they're a little more versatile than the unicorns just because you have the round bits, you have the skinny bits. I do like these caterpillars a lot. Bumped down to number three in my favorite fidgets is my old favorite, the fidget cube. You gotta love what all you can do with this thing. And then um, something that I think I'm always going to have on me for now on the really awesome finger rings so satisfying they are like a massage for your finger it's like acupressure it's amazing i want to put one on every finger amazing i am rocking the bling and in our number one spot we have the grape ball oh my it is the best i've always been a sucker for the squeezy toys and this has so many fun textures in it. It is amazing. I love it. It is the greatest fidget toy I have ever seen. Do you agree with my ranking? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see me do with fidget toys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, and if you want to keep watching, there should be another video popping up right here. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to become a part of the ineffable community, because you are ineffable.